Hi, and welcome to this Google Sheets slash Excel tutorial. This is Steve, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to transition your Excel skills over into Google Sheets if you're doing it for the very first time. Because there are a few differences between Google Sheets and Excel, and this video was designed to just make the transition easier for you. And once you get through that transition, you'll realize that Google Sheets is actually incredibly powerful, incredibly user-friendly, and has a lot of similar tools, functions, and uses as Excel. So the first thing you've got to do is get to Google Sheets. And the easiest way to do that is just to type in Google and Sheets. Go ahead and go to that, to Google Sheets. And you're going to just click on the personal version. The personal version is free. And it'll bring you to this first start screen here and this is linked to your Google Drive that's where it saves all of your documents and that's what makes Google Sheets so good for collaborating because everything's stored on the cloud so you have the choice of using a template opening a brand new blank spreadsheet just like you would in Excel or just going to an existing sheet and I have this little sample right here, so I'm just gonna click on that, and it'll open that up. And coming from Excel, when you look at this, you're gonna think it looks pretty darn familiar. You can still click in cells, you can still enter formulas. As you see here, there's a formula in the formula bar. You have all of your tools and your tabs up here. But here are some of the things that are different. And this is where I got hung up at first, and this is where a lot of people get hung up at first. So I'm gonna show you some things so you don't get hung up. The first thing is that you don't have a way to go to File and Save. Notice there's no Save option here. And the reason for that is that it's automatically saving everything you have to the cloud. So as soon as you open a document, it starts to save it to the cloud. And you can see it's even keeping track of the versions. So it says the last edit was 12 minutes ago. If I type something in right now and hit enter, it saved it and now it says the last that it was seconds ago, which is awesome because it keeps tr track of your stuff really well. So that's the first thing. And because it's automatically saving everything, you don't have to go and do a save as to name it something like you do in Excel. What you do is you just have the name right up here. So if you want to change the name of the spreadsheet, you don't have to go into your finder or your documents folder and change it there or do a save as like you do in Excel. You just go in and you change it right here. So let's say I want to call this second spreadsheet. Change it, hit enter. This is now saved in Google Drive as second spreadsheet. Okay, so that's Annoying at first for Excel users, but once you get used to it, it's actually really awesome. Another thing that can be challenging is if I want to open this in Excel, for instance, someone has sent me this file, which is something that's happening more and more with Excel users. If you want to download this into Excel so that you can do, you know, use your Excel magic wizardry on it without having to learn how to use Google Sheets, you can do that. The way you do that is you go to File, and you go to Download. And you'll notice the first option here is Microsoft Excel, and it has the .xlsx extension. And all you do is click that, and it's gonna download it as an Excel document. Now I always open this up, and I say Show in Folder so that I can go and drag it to wherever I want it to be because you almost never want it to just be in your Downloads folder. You want it to be where it belongs, so you can do that. Or you can just open it up in Excel, and then you can save as or whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's kind of number two, is how to get it into Excel if that's where you want it to be. But I will tell you, I did that for a long time, but now I'm starting to get to the point where if something's in Google Sheets, I am pretty comfortable just working on it in Google Sheets. The other thing is, let's say, let me rename this. Let's say this is my template for something. This is my template for the employee sales, right? 
and I'm going to reuse this every month. In Excel, you would go into this template, you would open this template, you would start doing your edits here, right? And then you would go to File and Save As, and you would save it as, you know, March Sales or whatever. You can't do that here. Once you start to do edits on your template, you're changing your template because it's saving it constantly. And I've done that a bunch of times and then had to go back and dig through old versions and stuff to try and get back to my original template. And this happens to everyone. So that's why I'm kind of trying to give you a heads up here to show you how to do it that's easier and better. What you do is you go to File. And remember, we want to download to create a Microsoft document. What we're going to do is go to Make a Copy. And when you click on Make a Copy, it's going to ask you what you want to call it. So let's call this March Sales. I can learn to type. And then you choose where you're going to save it. I'll just leave it in my drive. But you can select a folder if you want. And then you can also choose who you share it with. And we haven't talked about sharing, but we're going to in just a minute. But just know that if you are collaborating on this document with, you know, five other people, and you've already shared the template with them, you can share this March sales document with them by just clicking there. But for now, we'll just leave this blank and we'll get into sharing in just a second. So we've named our copy March sales and we click OK. And you notice now it's opening a new tab that says March sales and you can see the new name is March sales and this is a separate document. See, I can go back to my template over here and there it is. But by leaving this one untouched and in fact closing this one, I now know that I'm in my new copied version and I can go in here and I can delete everything and I can start putting in the new numbers. Because you see, it immediately starts to save it and this is now my March sales document. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about is sharing. And sharing you do, well, you can go to File and Share right there, and it'll bring up this Share dialog window. You can also go up here to this right-hand corner to the Share button, which is quicker, and click on that. And then you get this Share dialog box. And there are two ways that you can share in here. And you can see that it's divided up into two white boxes, so that makes it really clear. The first way is to add people. So you can take someone's email address and you can just type it in here. Or if they are in your Google contacts, you can just start to type their name and it will suggest various people that you might want to choose. So if I start typing in Joe and I have a friend named Joe, then it's going to give me suggestions. Otherwise, if he's not already in there and I already have his email address, I can just type or paste it in here, click done and it will share it with him. Now I didn't put anybody in, so I'm gonna go back into the share, and I'm going to show you the next way to share this information. In this box, you can get a link, and this link is shareable. So you just copy the link, and then you send it to whoever you wanna share it with, and then they can go into your document and interact with it. Now, the cool thing is, they can be anywhere in the world as long as they can access the internet and they can get in here and see your document. And you have control over what they can do. So right now, there is no link and it's just who you share it with. But if I click right here, change to anyone with the link, I'm now opening this up so that I can share a link with people and they can access it. But I still have options with their permissions or in other words, what they're able to do once they open this document. This first option is that anyone with the link can view. So that means if I send this link to any one of my friends or coworkers, they can go in and they can view my document. But that's it. They can just view it. They can't change it. They can't add formulas, add numbers, or anything. Okay, my second option is commenter. So they can view it, but also add comments. So if you want to just have somebody come in and kind of edit or proofread for you and then give you comments and feedback, then this is a valuable version option. And then finally, if you want to go full collaboration and you want them to be able to edit the document, you go editor. And now if you give somebody this link, 
they're going to be able to go in and completely edit your document. And the cool thing is you can actually have several people working on the same document at the same time, and you'll even see their cursors moving around editing the document. So in situations where you trust people and you need that collaboration, this is a really beautiful setup. So to share that link, I go ahead and click Copy Link. And now I can paste that into an email or whatever, and that, or you know, maybe a uh, cloud document that everyone has access to in your organization or whatever. And then you click Done, and I'm back into this. And you'll notice under the Share thing now, it has this little link icon under the People, and you can see it says anyone with the link can access, no sign-in required. So I've just opened this up to the world. And then, like I say, you can, I can see my cursor, but if you know, I did send this to my friend Joe and he started changing George's name here, you would see his cursor in another color pop into that field and then you would see it start to change as he changed it. So that's a really cool way to collaborate using Google Sheets. Okay, so those are some of the major differences between Excel and Google Sheets. For beginners, when you're first getting into it, some of the hurdles that I'd like you to get over easier than the rest of us did. So I hope you'll check it out and play with that. And then if you have comments or questions, just make sure to ask them in the comment section. If you like this and it helped you, please click like. If you want to get more videos about Excel and hopefully Google Sheets in the future, click on the subscribe button and I will see you in another video.